Hi everyone, it's Lomberto, and I'm bringing you a quick and basic how-to video. Now, I've always been asked this on my channel every day of every outer of every live streaming video. How do you live stream? Because I am known for live streaming on YouTube, and when I say known, I mean I'm not making something like I'm famous because I'm not, but I'm saying like in my general realm of 6k people, I'm famous for making live streams and a lot of people ask me how do you make these live streams so I'm just want to make a quick video on how to do it now this is gonna be a very general video on how to do this I just want to get you guys up and running and streaming as fast as possible that's the goal of this video guys now there's two things you have to do just to start off with that you have to do before you're able to live stream you have to verify your channel and confirm your channel is in good standing so verifying your channel is very easy. You just need to associate your channel with a phone number. So go under your channel settings um, and where it says verify your channel, verify it. And that will be under the channel, um, channel settings in your channel. All you need to do is go to your channel and stats and features and it should be right there. Next thing you need to do is make sure your channel's in good standing, and most people are, but that pretty much means that you didn't get a copyright strike on your channel. So most people are in good standing, so you have to make sure your channel's verified and it's in good standing, and we can move on to the next step here. Next thing you do, guys, is go to your channel and status and features, scroll down where it says live streaming and enable live streaming. It should work without problems if you had the first two qualifications done. Once you enable live streaming, you'll gain a new uh, thing in your channel where under dashboard and video manager, it will say live streaming. It's as easy as that. So click on stream now and you guys, we're already almost the way there. That's how easy it was. All you need to do now is fill out all the information on here. So right here, you're going to see what the live stream looks like if you were live right now. But since we're not, we're offline. All you can see is the thumbnail put up, which is Sharky. But anyways, let's just keep on. All right, so film the title. That's what, you know, like it's the equivalent of the title of a video before a live stream instead. All right, so I'm going to put Sharky Dance. All right, and then next thing, scroll down, and I can spell the word dance. This is the description. This is what's going to come underneath the video. It's the equivalent of a video description, but with a live stream instead. So fill this out. Sharky Awesome Dance. Okay, and then underneath that where it says gaming, um... You need to select the category of what what you're playing. If you're playing a video game, then you're gonna hit gaming, which most people watching this are probably gonna be doing gaming. But there's other categories as well. And then finally, this is highly recommended. You're gonna type in the name of the game. So if you're doing Agari O, which is the game you've been seeing me play right there, you would type in Agario. What that will do is it will show your live stream and YouTube gaming under that category. Now, YouTube gaming is a platform, but most of you know, but in case you didn't, in which people can see your live streams. It's kind of like YouTube's versions of Twitch that they made recently. I really highly recommend you go check it out if you haven't already. But you want to fill that out. Here in the bottom, server URLs for your encoder, which we'll go into in a second what an encoder is. Um... But it's for your encoder to find where you're streaming to. That's like the website name for the encoder. And the stream key is the specific channel in which you're streaming on. And that's also for the encoder, which we'll get into later. All right, you don't want to give this out, the stream key. Um, or anybody with it can stream your channel. Anybody. <laughs> so you want to be careful there. You also want to change the thumbnail, guys, where it says change thumbnail. You can change it to any picture you want. I change it to the shark, you can change it to Snoop Dogg, anything else. Uh, that is highly, highly recommended. So, I would really do that as soon as you can. <laughs> it's, it's recommended, but not necessary. But then that's what people see. That's the image that represents what the live stream is. Next, go to stream options. Enable DVR. That enables people while watching this live stream to go backwards in the live stream. If you want it to truly be live, uncheck that. And then they can't go backwards on it. Make archive and list it to complete. Every time you make a live stream, it's gonna show up in your channel as a video. It can rather be a public video or an unlisted. I highly recommend making it unlisted so you can edit it or delete it later. You can rather optimize it for interaction, low latency, or optimize for your buffering. I tend to do the second one because buffering sucks and nobody likes watching a live stream that's always buffering. You can and then you can finally add a delay. 
in which when you stream it's not technically live it's also there's usually a 15 30 second delay you can add an additional delay so maybe you could um you know that that the stream is going to be in the future lastly we have monetize with ads no need to explain what that is i tell you make money off of live streams and cards which is the same as videos next you have to find an encoder which i recommend uh xsplit or obs probably the obs if i had to say one but um because it's free but anyways i have xsplit before i knew anything about live streams i bought the pro version which is you have to pay for but here it is right here what you want to do is everything you see here is what's actually going to be live streamed to your channel so uh you want to set it up the way you are so we're going to set that up pretty easily i just put some gario up and this is a png the border everyone's like what is that i made that in photoshop this is a png picture that's all one thing so i put that up in my gario and the way I, I added the agario is screen capture and then see it will allow you to put your screen up like that and then you can move it around to your liking all right but so uh, everything there is ad source all right you also want to make sure you you have your microphone enabled and this is going to be your system sound right here this is for xsplit only i'm actually not going to go in too much detail about this part because i mostly just want to show how to live stream but I just want to show you the very basics of XSplit here because you guys might have a different encoder and this part of this video isn't going to make any sense because when you go to OBS it's going to be different. But so let's just say you finish everything here. Next you're going to want to broadcast and add channel and you're going to add your YouTube live channel right there. And when you click on that, it's going to ask like all this information. A lot of people freak out when they say like, holy crap, like look at all this stuff. I don't know what to do. Ah, ah. <laughs> don't freak out. It's all. It's mo mostly only looking for a couple things here and here. Pretty much the main thing is you just want to authorize your channel with your ID here. So once you authorize that, so if I authorized, if I signed in with my channel right here, that's what the authorizing mean. But the rest is not as much like that important. It usually fills it in anyways from your YouTube channel, at least for XSplit. So I think you're good. You only need to do is hook up your channel, guys. And when you're finally done, you hit this to broadcast it up. And then after your broadcast, guys, it will appear right here. You'll see how many people are watching your live stream, and you'll see the chat right here. But that is pretty much it, guys. Like I said, this was a very basic and general live stream video. Um, there's a lot more specifics and details other than this. But I wanted to give kind of the basic of how the live stream so you guys could even see if you're eligible to live stream. Um, it also uses a lot of power in your computer, so you might want to be careful with that. Um, but <laughs> uh, when I say power, I mean like CPU, your resources, RAM, internet. So you want to try out your computer to see um, how much computer it can handle. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this so much, guys. If you have any questions about how the live stream or what the live stream may think, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them. But anyways, other than that, uh, I will be possibly making more how-tos in more detail in the future, guys. This was a very basic one just to get you guys going um, to see if you can your computer can even handle live streaming or whatnot. Just very quick, easy, and to the point. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, smash the like button with full force and come join the event. And I will see you in the next video, guys.